Hi students, how are you? I hope you are all good and doing well in your study. Today you are going to learn an other microbiology biochemical test that is urease test. In this lecture you will learn purpose, principle, procedure, results with my simple fix to remember and mnemonics to remember urease positive organisms. As the organisms is the most Difficult thing to remember, so I am giving you a mnemonic to remember the urease positive organism. The purpose of urease test. The purpose of urease test is to determine the ability of an organism to hydrolyze urea by the action of urease enzyme. Urea is present in urease agar. And urease enzyme is present in some bacteria, especially those in organisms that infect the urinary tract. Next is the principle. Urease enzyme that is present in uh, in organisms, especially that infect urinary tract is able to hydrolyze urea that is in urease agar so it hydrolyzed urea and uh, release ammonia carbon dioxide and water the ammonia combines with carbon dioxide and water to gives ammonium carbonate which turns the medium alkaline as you know ammonium is alkaline in nature so it turns the medium alkaline turning the indicator phenol red phenol red is the indicator that is used in urease test so when the medium turns alkaline the phenol red turns from its original color yellow to bright pink so that's why you see the color bright pink in the result medium used in urease test any urea medium agar or broth and indicator used in urease test is phenol red phenol red turns uh, to bright pink when the medium uh, is basic or alkaline the procedure of urease test streak the surface of the urea agar slant with a portion of well isolated colony and incubate it at 37 degree centigrade for 24 hours so what happens in this incubation period the bacteria that you inoculate grow on this agar if the bacteria that is grown on this agar have urease enzyme so if the bacteria have urease enzyme it hydrolyzed urea to produce ammonium water and carbon dioxide then ammonia combines with carbon dioxide and water to produce ammonium carbonate ammonium carbonate is alkaline in nature so it increases the ph of the medium and turns the medium bright pink so here is my trick to remember the original color of the medium that is yellow as the urease word is somehow similar with urine as you know urine is yellow so that's how you remember that the urease agar is yellow i hope it's helpful for you and the color pink is remembered by the name of the indicator that is phenol red red color is similar with bright pink
So if you remember the name of pH indicator that is phenol red. So it's easy for you to remember the result, positive result, pink or bright pink. Not pink, it's a bright pink, similar with red color. So after incubation, absorb the color change. The results are deep pink. It means that the result is positive and the bacteria that you inoculate has urease enzyme. If you see no color change means the agar remains in its original yellow color. It means that the bacteria that you inoculate don't have urease enzyme. So it don't hydrolyze urea and ammonium carbonate is not produced. So that's why you see no color change. So here is the mnemonics to remember urease positive organism. The mnemonic is punch. From punch you can remember five organisms that is from P proteus U urea plasma and nocardia C cryptococcus and coronary bacteria from H helicobacter pylori. So if you remember the word punch, you can write these five or six organisms. In the exam. Um, urease negative organism is E. coli. So that's all about urease test. I hope this video is helpful for you and if you want these slides you can get a link in the description box. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel for more lectures. Thank you.